China is kicking off the Olympics with a performance at the National Stadium, orchestrated by internationally acclaimed director Zhang Yimou. Zhang, perhaps China's most prominent mainland director, made his name with films like Judo and Raise the Red Lantern, both of which were initially banned in China. Zhang Yimou is a miracle. Zhang Yimou is a miracle. Westerners knew little about China until he shot Judo. He gave foreigners their first glimpse of real life here. In that period, people viewed China the way North Korea is viewed today—a closed gate. Zhang Yimou, as a director, his photography is very unique. Zhang Yimou broke the normal rules of composition. Both Red Sorghum and Raise the Red Lantern are attempts to dig up what it was like to be alive at that time. They documented a lot of the backwardness and stupidities of that era, but they also illustrated the honesty and the simplicity of the people. They showed truth, and people liked the films because of this. Zhang Yimou's films were a drastic departure from China's socialist realist cinema tradition. Breaking taboos by showcasing the power of female sexuality in a way that hadn't been done before in Chinese film. Later on in his career, Zhang shifted to making large-scale epics driven by kung fu and choreography, stirring up a heated debate over whether he had sold his soul to make money with flashy, crowd-pleasing productions that lacked real characters or narrative. We couldn't wait for our film industry to die. We needed films to save the market. Zhang Yimou's blockbusters made money, but now the Chinese market is saturated with them. And I think if we continue making this same kind of movie, it will be the end of the Chinese film industry. While Zhang Yimou's success in large-scale productions earned him the right to direct the curtain raiser to the Olympics, his most insightful films remain his narratives about life in rural China, where he worked for over seven years during the Cultural Revolution. Chinese culture is still rooted in the countryside. If you don't know the Chinese peasant, you don't know China. Zhang Yimou has a strong connection to the countryside and the earth. In fact, the very first time I met him, I was very impressed by his sharp intellect. But what struck me even more about him was how humble he was. There was no arrogance about him. He was honest and simple, like a farmer.